Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and we're looking at the blue big boy. What do we call this thing? I don't know. Anywho, we're gonna have a look at it. Lots of wormies on the bubble wrap, and uh, I'm not sure if you haven't seen this video series before. This is kind of working on the wedge method where we started at this end with bedding and food and then we basically stop feeding over there, move down a little bit, do feeding, do bedding, move down a little bit, more feeding, more bedding, and so on until we get to the end when this end is depopulated of worms and food and then basically start over again. So I'm going to have a look and see what they're doing. It's a little bit dark in this picture. My light over here is burned out. So it still looks like there's a decent population of worms and food right at the end here. Let's see if there's any worms at the end where they should be leaving. Yep. Still have worms at this end which should be the mostly finished end. So as we all know, worms do what they want to do. A little bit of corn left. So I guess the food is not completely gone from this end, so neither are the worms. So we don't really I don't really want them to move on until they are done. So I'm going to little avocado. I'm gonna leave it as it is and let them do their thing over here. And then maybe next week I will come over here and and feed the bottom end to get them to move. Oh, dancing worms. Dancing worms. So you can see definitely bedding here that is very recognizable. And then over here, bedding that there's, you can't really tell what it is anymore. So it is progressing as planned. Um, you know, always have super high expectations for my worms, but they do what they're gonna do. So, we're going to just keep leaving that end as is unfed. I'll try and keep the moisture up so they can finish up their food. And then we will continue to feed at this end only so that as they finish up everything here, they have a place to go. So, I'm going to look and see if the worm population is, is much higher over on this end. And you, you can see there's a lot of worms here. Lots of varying different sizes, lots of little ones. Um, lots and lots of worms. Looks like I've got a lot of blue worms. Alrighty. So, it's just, it's in progress. It is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and at the rate that the worms are going to do it at or at the rate my worms are going to do it at. The basement's down to probably 70 degrees now instead of the 75 degrees it was during the summer. That's bound to have an effect on things. Um, so we're just going to keep documenting what they're capable of doing. I'll back up just in case anybody hasn't seen the, the big boy. This is a 55 gallon drum that was split in half lengthways and then screwed together. You can kind of see here, screwed together and also any of the holes here have screen glued to them. So that's how I'm keeping them mostly inside there. So that's it for Big Boy's Blue Half Brother. Is that what we called it? I like it. Big Boy's Blue, Big Boy's Blue Half Brother. Anywho, you get the point. Click a thumbs up if you like this video or the project or just because you like to like things. Click subscribe if you want to see new videos from me, and hit the little bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.